In this video I'm going to introduce the .kv file. That enables us to separate the look of our GUI from the actions of our GUI. We're still going to import the KV module, we're still going to import the KV app. It's still a good idea to set the minimum version and we're still going to extend our class. In this video we're not going to put anything in that class, we're just going to pass. We're then going to set up our .kv file which our um, program will know what to look for um, and I'll explain that during the main video. We're then going to run an instance of our class and we will see something that looks very similar to what we had before. So how do we make a program that uses a .kv file? Well, this is the file that we had in the um, last tutorial. So we can see we've got all our imports, we've got our class, and then we, um, we've got an instance of our class and we run it. So in our class, we've got the build function, and then um, we make a button, we return the button. Well, let's have a look what happens when we're doing it with a .kv file. The class is much simpler, I haven't imported as much, and this is my um, my class which extends app, and it doesn't do anything at all. If I, could, if I was to run that and there was no KV file, I'd get a window, because that's what the app class does, but nothing else. So the program now goes and looks, at, uh, looks for a .kv file, and the file it looks for is the one that has that as its name, but everything in lower case. Now I messed around for a while in the past trying to do this um, with something very similar to this where I put my window um, .kv just like it is up here and I did make the M lower case but I kept a capital W. Wouldn't run, couldn't work out what's going on. The thing is in that .kv file the whole name must be lower case. So it goes in the .kv file to look at what to do. So here we go. It knows that the window is the upper root. So now what it's doing is saying, OK, what else have we got? And I'm saying I've got a label. Let's go back. I don't tell it to an import label. It knows that that's what we're doing with the .kv file. And then I set the properties of that label. And I'm saying, right, can you make the text hello? And that's all there is to it. Let's run that window. There we go. I've got a window. It works. I can close it and it says hello. What if I wanted a button? Well, let's go back. Let's go to this one here. You know, it's this simple. I'm just going to say I want that to be a button. Let's go back. Let's run it. There you go. It's now a button. It really is that simple. I hope you found the video helpful. Um, do remember to subscribe. I've put a link to the code that I've used in the tutorial in the description below. Stay in Infield with Winfield.